But something you need to be aware of is that you do have rights and ways that you can get information that they stole from you taken down. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to get a, another website to remove something that copyrighted from you. So I know a lot of the biggest reasons why a lot of people don't wanna put their information online is because they're scared of getting it stolen. But something you need to be aware of is that you do have rights and ways that you can get the information that they stole from you taken down. So if you don't already know about Google's uh, copyright removal dashboard, I included a link in the description of this video and I will even put it in the comments just so then you can uh, you can see it there. But basically what this will allow you to do is create notices. So you'll go to that link that I posted, click create a new notice, and you can enter in your contact information um, if you are the copyright holder or, um, or you can have a representative copyright holder. So this is something that I do with clients that if I like crawl their site and basically the rest of the internet and find that their information is being stolen and taken somewhere else, these are submissions that basically I can be an authorized copyright holder and um, have their information taken down on behalf of them. So um, then we have our email address. I just have this hooked up with a Google account because that's normally the easiest um, with any of the webmaster tools. Have your country and origin, the, um, the copyright work, if there's streaming, video, um, photos, things like that, what the actual infringing material is. One of the things you want to make sure of is that you have all your information together. Make sure that this is actual copyrighted material and not public knowledge because the more you have to back this up, the better because people can dispute. If you look up here, you'll see that uh, people can dispute um, so if there's any infringing, it can expose you to liability for damages, costs, uh, attorney fees, if it is found that you are abusing the system. Obviously, if you're not abusing the system, you have nothing to worry about. But this is also just a reminder that you can't just use this as a platform to take down your competitors because you have to have actual cause to say that they're infringing copyright on you. Um, but that is basically the main way I would say to um, counteract anything that has to do with copyright. Um, and also just to make you aware, this is why you can't just like steal people's information, you know, because it is illegal. They can pursue you. And this is one of the ways that they can do that. Because if Google finds that your information is copyrighted, they can have your site blacklisted or have that page taken down. Just a bunch of different things that you can do. So you definitely want to make sure that any content that you put on your website, the privacy policy, terms, conditions, all the things like that is original. So either that's something that you need to make up or have a lawyer make it up for you because you want to make sure that you are covered. And um, that's not something I personally do because I'm not, it, you know, it's not my scope of practice. So, which is also brings me to another good point of always make sure that what you're doing and saying on your website is actually in your scope of practice. You know, you can't prescribe people to do things if you're not a doctor or you're not registered in that type of practice. And I see a lot of people really getting close to that scope line without actually telling people as a disclaimer, hey, like you, you really, you have to make your best judgment to um, make these kinds of decisions. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic. I hope this helped you um, learn how to, you know, use these copyright tools if you find somebody stealing your information. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your Monday.